USA 9 is your station for all things Cherry Blossom, Wiz. That's right. And this morning we're celebrating <laughs> the start of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And the Cherry Blossoms will likely only be in peak bloom for a few more days. So all those crowds at the Tidal Basin, expect them to get even worse over the next few days. All right, so let's get back to Marcella Robertson, who's live at the Tidal Basin. Marcella, this is uh, such a big time of the year for our area. These events help extend the big tourist season uh, past peak bloom. Yeah, good morning to you both. Well, uh, even if the uh, the wind or the rain impacts the cherry blossoms out here, uh, there is still a lot to be excited about over the next few weeks or so. So much happening. The official kickoff of the Cherry Blossom Festival is today, and it's just really an exciting time to be in D.C. So a lot happening. Uh, Noma in bloom, that kicks off today, the first day of the festival here. That uh, neighborhood in D.C. really going to put on a lot of pop-up events, exhibits, really transform a lot of their public spaces uh, to honor the cherry blossoms. And that includes that big water tower uh, with Noma on it. That is going to be lit up in pink for the next couple of weeks. So that's pretty cool. Today is also the first day of Art and Bloom. We've covered these giant uh, cherry blossom sculptures in the past. They are back out starting today. They're really created by a lot of different artists and spread out across the city. So maybe you want to do a scavenger hunt. You can click on that map, click on one of the blooms, and it'll show you where they are throughout the city. And you can see their exact location. Now this weekend is also the opening ceremony, the iconic opening ceremony at Warner Theater. Incredible performances there. Uh, there's Sakura Sunday, a Japanese market with sake and beer garden at National Harbor. And also this weekend, when you come out to the Tidal Basin, there will be a welcome area with a stage set up. Uh, more than 100 performances are on the lineup until April 7th. That stage is open every day until then from 10 to 6. So. A ton of other events happening over the next four weeks. Uh, the Blossom Kite Festival, the Cherry Blossom 10 Miler and Kids Run, Petal Palooza, and then of course, this is all wrapped up with that parade uh, on April 13th. Sugar Hill Gang performing as well as a lot of local bands and dancers. That parade is along Constitution Avenue, so that is free. But if you want seated tickets, they are on sale right now. We have the full list of events, how you can get those tickets on WSA9.com. And you can actually click on our homepage on Cherry Blossoms 2024. We've got guides to everything you need to know about the cherry blossoms. And uh, again, Jonathan mentioned that the weather may impact these uh, blooms over the next couple of day so uh, it is a beautiful morning out here right now um, if you can maybe swing by on the way to work I've got my coffee I'm gonna watch the sunrise I'm gonna have a nice little morning out here so uh, <laughs> uh, really an exciting time to be in in DC over the next couple of weeks guys yeah, you need to take some pictures and tweet and not not tweet it's not tweet. X, and X, X. X them yes so take some pictures uh, and X them yes and Marcella you look lovely in your yeah. pink today oh thank you I absolutely appreciate that. absolutely <laughs> all righty we'll see